All right, well, nothing goes better with barbecue nice. than beer. But Alexandra Baker is here to tell us that you, you need to have the right glasses yes, to drink your beer. You so let me tell you something right now. If you if you kind of snoozed on Dad for Father's Day, this is the best gift you can give him. I would love to get this. This is a set of beer glasses. They're called craft beer glasses. Each one is particularly designed for a particular type of beer. So you know, if you like Pilsner beer, if you like the uh, the pale ales and things like that, we're going to take you through a tour of it. But here's what I'll tell you. I have 996 of these to go around for everybody in the country. It's also free shipping it comes to you in this great designer box but look at all the glasses you get a set of four if you want to buy more than one set it's all good you'll still get free shipping on those and they put it on four flex 999 this is a cool item this is a cool item yeah, because yeah, yeah. i want you to be a rock star hostess <laughs> right? right i mean i want you i want your husband to look at you and be like you know when did you learn so much about beers and right. understanding that craft beer is all the rage right now everyone's talking about ipas right. the india pale ales and why are they so popular? So I'll get into that a little bit with you, but I want to share with you, this is a set of four of the glasses just for the beers, craft beers. You already know about your wine glasses. You would sure. never serve a burgundy in a champagne flute. Oh, don't even say it. Of I would course never do that. not. No. And you know, if you're a husband... wine in a water glass? No. no. <laughs> okay. Or well, what about Jack. whiskey, scotch, and your <laughs> bourbon drinkers? You know, a double old fashioned, or you would use a proper scotch glass because it just tastes better. So here we're gonna be putting the beer in these lovely beer glasses. And you'll notice you're receiving one of each of the different four glasses, yeah. one of each. So the first one is our stemmed. You can see that here. It's mm -hmm. just our stemmed glass. And it's really ideal for some of our darker ales, some of right. your stouts, and you can see and that you nice go, if you oh, go to a good flavors. craft beer place, mm -hmm. you'll notice that, and if they are good, they will oh, serve so these good. beers with these glasses because these are the glasses that go mm. with them. They allow them to breathe. They allow the body to yes. develop because it's all about the aromas. Yes. Also, a little bit of head on top uh, that you see on there. Exactly. The glass is designed to be able to uh, showcase that. Yep. All right, I only have 900 left. Oh, they're, they're flying really out already, right? So now your pale ales. Yeah. You would put your pale ales. This is a taller, more slender glass. These first two glasses are 18 ounces, but you can see that nine nice slender this is the actual pale ale glass mm -hmm. so you'll actually look like you'll know what you're doing right. then we've got your pub style glass this is your imperial pint this is your pint and crown yeah. this is a proper pub That's glass put my Guinness right in my your english <laughs> pub glass holds 20 ounces yeah well this and this is meant to display uh because a lot of times you know when you when you get a beer like this and you get some of the heavier beers yeah. you'll notice that uh the foam the head that comes up will cascade down and you want a good vessel by which to view that cascade very well and that's done what this you're, is a, you're uh, impressing me wow first day i did work <laughs> in bars for like 20 years <laughs> i better have gotten something out of it uh anyway uh but that's what it allows it allows the beer yep. to cascade the same way that a beautiful champagne flute will allow little bubbles to float to the surface it's supposed to be exactly. like a little presentation thing and that's what it's about exactly. this i know because this yeah. is your good old-fashioned pilsner this is your for your wheat beers yeah, so yeah, if right? you're loving your wheat beers look at this so nice and tall, 22 ounces, really being able to display your beautiful fruity wheat beers. Mm. And now it's going to taste so much better. I mean, after grilling, like what you were just doing yeah, outside, right. don't you want to be able to entertain and share with your friends in the proper glass? It's so refreshing, cold beer during this hot weather, mm -hmm. when you're having a barbecue, when you're using your charbroil, or what about when your husband has been working in the garage or working in the lawn, mowing the lawn, and you're able to bring this to him? Let me tell you. You're going to see a little, little tray, little emoji eyes. Here, He's going to have little red yeah. emoji I, eyes I for you. Little woman hearts. That's gonna, I need to find the woman that's going to bring me a beer glass, a beer on a tray. While oh, sweetie, you the just grass. haven't met the right Jacqueline girl Lowe. yet. You haven't met the right girl yet. All right. So oh, that is for you. Goodness. Now this is brought to you by Gorham. This is actually food you know and wine company. by Gorham. Yep. Gorham, we've known that name sure. for more than 180 years, bringing us quality and design and well-priced, beautiful high quality design items and then food and wine they're the authority on all things travel food and entertaining now if you're wondering 
if you're not the uh, beer connoisseur or the expert in remembering which of these beers go into the glass, right here on the box, each of the glass is shown here, reminding you what type of beer goes into each it, glass. It, you know what it is, and, and listen, uh, if you think, uh, if you're ladies, you're watching right now and you're thinking, nah, my husband, he won't know the difference, it's no big... Let me tell you, the reason that guys are out there and they have like man caves is like, I got a neighbor down the street. Of course. He's got like signs on his cave. <laughs> uh, you know, like it's, he's got his name out there and all this stuff. He's the coolest guy ever. I like the guy. He always invites me. Hey, I'm, I'm walking, I'm always jogging by. He's like, hey, come on in for a beer. I'm like, dude, I'm jogging. <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. No, so I you don't. Can, you can afford no, but you know beer. what? It's like, and the point I was making is those, People who love beer and craft beer take it very, very seriously. Oh, yeah. It's an art. Uh, I, I, one of the restaurants that I uh, ran, I was up in Connecticut, and there was a place down the street called the Southport Brew Pub, and they were one of the first breweries that we had in town with the big copper kettles and all that. Oh. And those guys did so much research on the glassware, the barware, the place, because it was kind of an Irish-themed place. Right. Uh, and they would put beer in everything that they served in, the, in, their, um, in their soups. They would put it in their batters for their, uh, I mean, like fried shrimp and stuff. The stuff was amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's a real serious business and it's a really great sort of a talking piece and something that, that uh, you know a conversation starter uh, if you want to get this for your husband or if guys you know if your lady loves to drink beer and yeah. a lot of girls love drinking Absolutely. craft beers it'd be a great gift for them kind of elevates it a little bit but it takes it sort of out of the out of the bar and kind of brings it into the pub so to speak well there's you know a reason I mean? why craft beers are it all elevates the rage right it now a little bit. It kind of elevates it and you know oh. I'm all about that things being chic simple and affordable and that's what we have here but I really want you to take advantage of being able to, to bring more than one set home because this is almost like a flight. It's like a sampler pack, one of each glass. So if you're in the man cave and you want your husband to be able to you know, share this with his friends or you want to be able to share this with your friends, you'll want to have more than one set. So if you can bring home you know, two sets or four sets, that would be ideal. Craft beers are the hottest trend right now. You know why? Smaller breweries, they're making smaller batches. Mm -hmm. um, if you really care about the product being uh, really pure not a, it's not processed it's not uh, not a lot of anything artificial the IPAs with the extra hops and bitterness are wonderful for food pairing can you believe we're talking about food pairings yeah. with some of our most popular beers now because that nice cold bitter taste with the hops on an IPA is perfect mm -hmm. with fried chicken or any of the grilled food that we just showed you moments ago so this makes your meals it's a nice compliment in the nice hot weather with all of your grilling needs your husband will love this and when was the last gift. time you invested yeah. well, in some beautiful glasses like this beer craft beer glasses and as I said maybe you snoozed on Father's Day and you want to get something for dad and just be like hey it's coming it's in the mail it took forever it's back ordered this is the kind of thing a dad would open up and he'd be like that's really cool and then it, there's a little uh, there's a little picture on the side right here that tells you uh, you know which beers go in which glasses so when you go cheap and when, cheat. right and when you and when you go and you buy beer it will say whether it's a, a wheat beer or a pale uh, ale beer it tells you all that stuff so yeah. if you don't you don't need to know much about it you don't and you can always research anything online if you're curious to where the origins of all this stuff comes from but uh, all I know is it's a lot of fun and, and you know we were just doing our whole show about barbecue and and connecting uh, you know because a lot of people make their barbecue sauce I, I have a barbecue sauce that has dark beer in it that's really good and you right. can make that right. but but it's all about kind of celebrating the whole the whole thing and it's all about presentation Absolutely. even when we were just you know we were just cutting that prime rib you know you bring that stuff to the table and you slice it and you it's a big show that's the same thing with beer normally we think you know you pop a bottle you just start sucking it down well that's okay in the parking lot <laughs> not that I've done that that's okay <laughs> when you're in the parking lot but when you know when you're in a sophisticated place and you yes. want yeah when you're yes. in a good place and you want to drink a nice beer and you want to make it out like we said you want to elevate it a little bit maybe you're Absolutely. having friends over and and you're maybe you're serving prime rib and you don't want to just crack a beer and get like here here's this goes with your prime rib you want to give them something nice to drink that you can put it at a, a nice table Absolutely. You wouldn't feel funny about it. You don't feel funny about it. And I think sometimes we hesitate from serving the beers because we don't have the right glass. And you know what's wonderful about these glasses? They're lead-free crystal. They're made in Europe. Each of the glasses have the etched food and wine by Gorham. Can you see that right there? Food and wine by Gorham is sketched on the bottom of each glass and they're dishwasher safe. If it's not dishwasher safe, I don't think I'm interested. So that's what you're receiving today. All of that, one of each of the glasses. So let's go over the glasses yeah, one, more time. one more time. Yeah, let's do it one more time because we have about a minute and a half left and I got 800 of these to go around for everybody in the country. They're going to sell out if you don't get your hands on them. Go yeah, ahead. You have your stemmed, almost your tulip shaped glass, which is wonderful for your dark beers and your stouts. Then, of course, the IPAs. 
piece, which are so beautiful. Your India Pale Ale glass, wonderful for all your India Pale Ales. And so it's a tall, slender 18 ounces. Both of these are 18 ounces. Then we're getting into our larger, more generous pours. This is our Pint and Crown. This is your pub style glass, your Imperial Pint, your official Imperial Pint. Wonderful for your lagers, okay? Yeah. And then your wheat beer glass, 22 ounces, tall and slender with the wide open mouth so it really can breathe and those aromas and the taste. Fantastic, beautiful presentation. Stock up the man cave. If hey. you have one of those fancy garages and sure. all the neighbors are coming over, I want you to be that rock star hostess that you deserve to be. Yeah, and if you're going to buy, uh, you know, like your husband glassware, this is the glassware This is buy. the glassware that he, he wants. He doesn't need water glasses. He doesn't need wine. He wants beer glasses, and that's what you get. It's a great gift. Maybe something you might want to squirrel away if you're together. You know somebody that's got a gift-giving opportunity coming up. It's a great presentation piece. If you're buy thinking, about, you know, the guy that's always hard to buy for around the holidays, grab it now. Put it put it in the attic somewhere, and then you'll have it, and you can deliver it give it to them they'll be happy all right uh listen we are just about out of time it's 39.95 on price break we'll ship it to your house for free it's only 9.99 to get this home on flex bay there you go. thanks so much for coming Cheers. in and showing me some cool beer glasses we got the spotlight then our next presentation of our best